Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. Today I'd like to talk about variables and primitive data types. I'm going to go ahead and open up my web browser to my website javacjava.com. I'm going to click on the begin button. Take us over to the tutorials page. I'm going to click on variables and data types. And here we have an introduction to variable and primitive data types. A variable is a name location, name memory location that can be assigned a value while the program is running. A data type describes the sort of data that a variable will hold. Uh, this tutorial will introduce you to the, one of the fundamental Java data types and those are the primitive data types. The following is a list of all eight primitive data types. Uh, this tutorial will focus basically on just the int and the double data types. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. I've got all the source code right here for this ready to go here. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Click on start, search, type in CMD, which is for the command prompt. If you're running Windows 7 or earlier, you can go to start and run and type in CMD. Okay, we're going to type in cd space backslash. cd is short for change directories and backslash is go to the root and then we're going to type in nd java and enter. I already have that subfolder there but if you didn't it would go ahead and create it for you. We're going to go and change directories to the java subfolder. I'm going to make a directory called uh, uh, variables. md is short for make directory and we're going to change directory to that variables folder. I'm going to type in notepad variables.java. Okay, so variables.java will be the name of our Java source code file, um, also known as a compilation unit. And instead of watching me type all this stuff in for five minutes, I'm just going to pop over to my website. Cut and paste it. Now I recommend, um, you know, you guys, if you want to pause the video and go ahead and actually type all this in if you really learn better that way by actually doing that rather than cutting and pasting. I, I highly recommend that. But um, one of the things I like to do in my tutorials is kind of reiterate previous um, ideas from other tutorials. And so I've started this off with a multi-line comment. A multi-line comment, of course, opens up with a forward slash asterisk and an asterisk and a, and a forward slash, again, is closed out. So everything in between those is the multi-line comment. So this is just going to be a simple program to convert miles to kilometers. We're going to create a variable called miles and assign an int data type and initialize it to zero. We're going to create another variable called kilometers and assign it to a double data type and initialize it to zero. We're also going to do a lot more than that, but I just put this up here to demonstrate a multi-line comment. I have single line comments throughout the whole entire program as well. Um, single line comments, of course, are started by, by the double slashes here and the compiler ignores everything after this right and the compiler also ignores everything inside of there so basically we've got our class definition of variables which matches our source code uh, file name and we got our opening bracket closing bracket everything inside of there is a code block we've got our main method entry point for the uh, for the program for the class there and our closing bracket there, closing bracket there, everything inside of there is the code block for uh, the main method. Um, we declare a, a variable called miles as an int data type and assign it zero. So basically we've got our data type of int, our variable of miles, our assignment operator equals, our value of zero, and the semicolon ends, ends this whole entire line. This line is basically called an, a Java expression. So. And then we're going to create another expression down here, uh, double kilometers equals 0.0d. Um, this sort of syntax here is with the d on the end just indicates that we're forcing a double value into this particular variable of double kilometers. Um, miles, the int data type. Int data types cannot have any sort of fractional value after them. In other words, they have to be a whole number like 1 or 6 or 1200, right? they can't be 1.75, right? A double, however, can contain fractional values, decimal values, can be 6.87, right? Just throwing out a number, a random number there, okay? 
Then we're also going to create this, this variable distance. So we've got the, double, uh, the data type of double, the variable name of distance, and its default value is actually 0.0D. So anytime you create a variable in Java, it will be assigned a default value. Like if you create an int, it'll automatically be assigned a default value of zero. I just did this to demonstrate how you can assign stuff or initialize them. Um, but distance, I assure you, contains 0.0D after this statement or after this expression is, is executed. Um, we can also change the default values of, of variables. Obviously, what would they be worth if it couldn't? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and set the initial uh, miles to 11. Um, we're going to declare kilometers as 1.609344 double value. And that's just how many kilometers there are in a mile. And then we're going to perform a, um, a multiplication operation. Uh, to come up with our value for distance. So we're taking miles times kilometers equals our distance. Um, and we're going to, of course, use our good old print line method there. In print line, you can mix and match the data types that you pass to it there. Uh, so basically, we're passing just a, a string here of there are, and then we're adding in plus distance, and it will literally take the value that's in distance and display that on the screen, right? And then we're passing we're adding or we're tacking on um, this little string value here of kilometers in and then we're tacking on an int value of miles and then we're putting out the little string value of miles. So we're going to go ahead and save this and we'll go ahead and do CLS to clear the screen off, Java C to invoke the Java compiler Okay, everything went good. We're going to go ahead and call the Java runtime on the variables class, which will invoke the main method. And we get there are 17.702784 kilometers and 11 miles. Okay, um, I'm going to pop back to the, to the website here real quick. And get that get that browser off the screen here okay so I'd like to go over go over a couple things here data types define what type of data a variable can contain um, that statement basically means when we say int which is the data type and that and we declare miles as the variable miles can only hold a data type of an int value so for example, if we say miles equals, and we assign, try to assign it a, a string value, right? Um, this will not work. This will cause an error message when we attempt to compile, right? We're gonna go ahead and save this file here. Come back here. We're gonna type in Java C variables.java to recompile it. And we're gonna get our error. It tells us the line number, incompatible type, string cannot be converted to int. So. Uh, just to reiterate that, what we're going to do is take this line out. Data types define what type of data a variable can contain. So once we've initialized or created miles and we've assigned it an int type, you can't change it, right? Um, the assignment operator, which is this equals right here, will change the value, store a value to that variable and overwrite anything that it's been initialized with or currently holds to. Um, Java supports arithmetic operators such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and more. Obviously, you can see we've used the multiplication operator here. And the, uh, the int data type has a default value of 0. The double data type has a default value of 0, basically 0 0.00D. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close out of this, close out of that. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.